Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders doing very deadly things. If you have a fear of spiders, or seeing strange methods of spider control, this video is not for you. There's something a little bit red back gruesome. This is one near our well, front door as we step up into our house. That's one of those body body bugs uh, when they're a bit younger, I think. The name escapes me at the moment, but there is a small female red back spider there doing her stuff. That red back spider lives up there. Okay, I'm not going to put the camera up there, but there's also a grate or grill, which is there. That's like her upper apartment, that part there. Whatever that thing there is, well, I can tell you one thing, it's history. That red back spider is, um, I call it a smaller female. They get much bigger than this. But from that, if it can um, live and survive in its little zone there, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's early morning, so it is a little bit unusual to see these girls out playing in the day. They're very much a nighttime critter. Even when they're this size, uh, they're very dangerous. They're wired to kill right from day one. And she'll work hard to uh, bring this beast in. It's a massive meal for her, I can tell you. I'm sure she's got some bites into that critter there. Uh, she's actually very cautious. She keeps doing this sort of runner back into a nest there. But there'll be another side of her thinking I need to have a nice big feed and that's certainly one that she can have for, well, the whole week, if not more. I think she's been putting bites into that abdomen area there. She's working all over the place, really. That big, um, whatever it is, body body thing, as I call them, it didn't put up much of a fight from what I can see. Or maybe it's been bitten before. There'd be more bites there, I dare say. Lots of bites. Lots and lots of bites. It'd be a totally horrible way to die, I can tell you. Strung up in a spider's web, being bitten alive. Very, very slow, slow death. And this sort of activity is just going all the time around my house. Uh, massive infestation of redbacks this year. They are everywhere. And I can only assume the venom's taking effect and uh, she'll bind it up and she'll probably end up dragging it back into a little home. It's unusual with redback spiders, they just love these sort of urban environments that we build for them. And in this setup here, and I've seen this so often, is if you've got like a brick area here and the concrete floor, they'll set up webs. Okay, and the webs extend right out here. You can barely see them on this uh, silly iPhone video, but they extend right out here. You can see something stuck up in the web there. And it's a case of anything crawling by here, and I can see ants and things going by. Anything that goes along here and triggers those webs, well, she's just hiding in there at night, waiting to pounce. But she's, this one's a clever one because she's also got the upper mezzanine level here. I'll call it uh, the grill level. And I can see that she's got web uh, from that grill strung down. So anything that goes across here or falls down here is going to be her next meal. So as humans, uh, we keep building the perfect environment for these spiders to survive. They love us. Well, that critter has been bound up with a fair bit of web now. It's um, it's having the effects of venom on it, I dare say, by the way it's moving. And the redback spider just keeps going back into its lair. Somewhere, somewhere in there, somewhere, hey? Ooh, do I really want to go in there? I'm sort of thinking maybe that spider in there is uh, one of the offspring from the Toyota uh, monster redback that I had. It could easily be because this area here is not far from where the other cars parked. If I lay on the ground here, we get to see up inside a little secret world. Yeah, very timid spider. I dare say, uh, if you're a timid redback spider, you're going to be a survivor. I just hope we learn something in this video. Man, oh man, if this isn't educational, uh, well, I'm in a ton of spider trouble. As I've seen so often with redback spiders, what they do is they come along, they'll get some web on a critter, they'll entangle it, then they'll get some bites in, then they'll bind it up in some web and then there's a waiting time for the venom to take effect on the critter to basically break it down and then it becomes a giant feed for the little red back spider. And because I'm being curious, look who has turned up, it's Fluffy Cat. This was a stray cat that's now become our cat. She's a wonderful thing and I've often wondered how she has avoided being bitten by red back spider because I tell you what, she certainly gets around in the areas where those spiders frequent. You've got to be really careful Fluffy. You have to be extremely careful. Wait, isn't she a beauty, eh? Isn't she a total stunner? Fluffy cat. 
about the only blessing in disguise with the redback spider living in the drain is there is no egg sac there. This is an early infestation. Again, I find a redback spider who's decided my car is its perfect home. And in another video, we take a look at a conventional way of dealing with this, and I show you the problems with the conventional method. As for the redback spider who is living in this drain pipe here, well, I resort to one of my unconventional methods, and I can assure you that the unconventional method kills absolutely everything in its path. The full details of this spider hit will be seen when we take a look at the nasty redback spider who's decided my car is its perfect home again.